In this video we create a trendy text or logo with inner shadow animation. I hope you enjoy as you watch. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more After Effects tutorials. So we create a new composition, we use best settings, click OK and then I'll press Ctrl T to select the text tool, type in our text and then I'll press Ctrl Alt Home and then Ctrl Home to center the anchor point and then center this to the screen. And now I can just right click, go to new solid. We create a solid with this color, click OK. And then I move this down. And for the track mat option, press F4 if you don't see this option. And then we change this to alpha inverted. We select both of this and then press Ctrl Shift C to pre compose. I'll call this night for now. And now I right click, go to new, create another solid with the same color, click OK, move this down and then I'll click over here. So I'll lock this one and now I select the composition that we've just made and then go to effects and presets, type in drop shadow. So apply it to the composition and then set a keyframe on each one of this. Now let's change the opacity to zero. We change mostly everything to zero. And then I'll move to one second, 15 frames. So I'll press U to view the keyframes. And then we set a keyframe on opacity, distance and softness. And now I change the opacity back to 50. I change distance to 40 and softness to 80. And now I move to 5 seconds, change direction to around 300. And now I'll move to 4 seconds now. And then we set keyframe on everything except direction. And then I move back to five seconds and then we change everything to zero. Except direction. Now let's have a look at the animation. Now we duplicate the drop shadow, so control D to duplicate the effect, so we have it here. And now we go to 1 second, 15 frames, that we have other keyframes here. And now we change the distance to 10. And now we change the opacity of the second one. To 40 and now we can go to 4 seconds and then we copy press U to view all the keyframes and now we copy the keyframes for the second shadow and then press ctrl C to copy and control V to paste to the fourth second. So now we go to effects and presets, type in bevel alpha and then apply it to the composition. And now we move to one second, 15 frames. We give this a lighter color, so we choose the same one and then give this a brighter color. So now you can see what this does if we have it. I'll turn this off and on so you can see it better what this one does. And now I'll just we move to one second 15 frames and then we change the we actually keep the settings so 
we set a keyframe on edge thickness and then light intensity we go to the beginning and then change this to zero now we can copy the last keyframes for bevel alpha so i'll press u to view the keyframes copy this Control c copy and then paste it to four seconds and now here at five seconds we set the keyframes to zero Let's have a look at the animation. We can press N to trim the work area so it will loop forever. Now I'll duplicate this composition. So I'll close the settings, press Ctrl D to duplicate. And for this one, for this one below, we select all the effects select and then press delete or just go to edit and then clear or here is the shortcut for it delete press delete so i clear all the effects and now i go to effects and presets type in fill so i move the time indicator type in fill and then double click on it to apply to the layer and then we change the color of it to black now we go back to effects and presets, type in radial fast blur. So this one we add this one CC radial fast blur to the composition. And then here at 1 second 15 frames, I change the amount to 80. Set a keyframe on it, go to the beginning and then change this one to 0. So I go and then I set a keyframe on center by clicking on this icon. I move this to upper left side. I'll press U to view the keyframes and have this one at the beginning. And now I'll go to 215 and then move this point to the right side now. And then go to the end of it, move this down a little. Let's see what we got so far. So looking fine. And now we go to the end of it, press T for opacity and then set a keyframe on it, we move back by 20 frames, so shift page, down, shift page up, shift page up again, and then set another keyframe, and then we change this last one to zero. Now we go to the beginning, set a keyframe on opacity, and then go to first second, set another keyframe to opacity, and then we change the first one to zero.